We are in Heinsberg, Vermont. We stopped at Family Cow Farm Stand. And we're picking up some local fresh food. Tons of organic produce, maple syrup, squash. We got some raw milk, honey. Of course, a bunch of eggs as well. And of course, all the dairy right here from the farm. As I've been going along on this journey, I've been trying to figure out more ways to incorporate just really embracing the areas I'm going through, so I figure why not stop at the local markets, farms, and things like that. You know where your food's coming from, it's way more fresher. Come here, come on. Good morning. Good morning. Happy freaking Thursday, everybody. We're just packing up camp here, and then we're gonna be doing something a little different today. First off, we're gonna meet up with Jason and do some fly fishing. It's gonna take us to some cool local spots here in Vermont, and should be a good old time. You ever gone fly fishing before, Anders? Me neither. Good to see ya. God. Ready to do some fly fishing. Absolutely. Brought the boats and everything. Jason is all prepared. We got wood back here, kayaks. We're gonna have a blast. <sighs> Flash forward, not even five minutes down the road. And we are at our camping spot. So right down this path here, you can see where Anders is. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, we're down at the campsite now. So we're gonna be parking up here, sign up camp down here, and check out. A beautiful river right next to us. Beautiful stream right here. Cool spot for sure. Little bench here. Wow. That's pretty cool. Little makeshift bench. Alright. I gotta go unpack. Just got the tent up, start pouring out. Coming down hard. <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> like to hang out underneath the rocks, things like that. So we're gonna try a couple of the pools here. I've been practice some casting. I grew up fishing, a lot of shore fishing, boat fishing, mostly worms, bobbers, you know, catching walleyes, bass, mostly rivers. But I always wanted to fly fish and when Jason presented us with an opportunity to do so, I thought, why not? So that's why we're out here. And this whole journey is about trying things I've never done before, learning new things, gaining some experience and different criteria along the way, why not? So that's what we're doing out here. Should be a good time, rain let up, beautiful weather out here, and just gorgeous, peaceful, tranquil area out here. This brook is so beautiful. And I already tried out some of the water, we filtered it, it's great. All right, we got this pool right here. It's a perfect area. Ben's having a go at it, getting some practice in. We're gonna try it out. Yeah, just gotta practice. That was so much fun though. And we were practicing on a nice six foot pole. We're gonna go out to the lake, take out the boat, and use the larger poles. Have a go at some bigger fish catching. Blueberry Lake is the name. It's just not even 10 minutes from here. Let's do it. I'm, this is gonna be fun. I haven't been on a boat out on the lake in a long time, so today's the perfect day to do it. Go on fish. Go on fish.
fly fishing in the wind. It's uh, proving to be challenging. This is awesome though, so much fun. Definitely a lot more technique involved. Well, I mean, if you're a really good fisherman, then there's a lot of technique involved no matter what, but. I always like just getting on the boat whether I caught something or not. So being out here on the lake, perfect. Jason's not a bad teacher. I don't know if I'm that great of a student, but. Meanwhile, Ben's cruising around on the kayak. <laughs> Going crazy. Watch out, Anders, he's nuts. I have to hop in the kayak and let Ben have a go at the fly fishing with this nine foot six pole. It's a lot different, especially now we're you know fighting the wind and everything, but being out in the lake versus the brook, totally different, but a lot of the same principles. Andy, you gonna catch a fish for us? Why don't you catch a fish for us? Oh, you just got, got a, got a bite. All right, we got a first fish on the line. He went around the prop. Oh no! Oh, there we go. Little bass. Little bass. Good work, man. There you go. Small mouth has their mouth in front of the eye, large mouth has their mouth behind the eye. So that's a small mouth. Feisty little guy. Have hey, fun, buddy. bud. Good work. Hey, yeah. first, first <laughs> bass, first bass on the seven weight. <laughs> there you go. Love it. What'd you think of the fish? You wanna go swimming with them? Hmm? You wanna go swimming? You wanna go swimming? Good. 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 We'll be over here catching fish. at camp, time for some fire action. Why did I do two? Fire action, food action, hanging out. Action, just hanging out. Had a great day, really appreciative for Jason sharing some of one of his hobbies with us, you know, and teaching us a few things. I think I picked up a few things. Definitely different than a spinning reel, two times. Fire, food, let's do it. Slept like a baby last night. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be a low of 39. Fall is here, everybody. Fall is here, and I'm excited. I'm at the point where I'm so ready for fall. I'm wearing long sleeve shirts when it's too hot out. I'm wearing pants, I should be wearing shorts. Just ready for fall. I feel like if I wear the attire for fall, fall will come here sooner. Morning, Benjamin. Good morning, sir. You ready for fall? I'm, I'm already mentally there. You're mentally in fall, right? Yeah. What about you, Annie? Good morning, Annie. Are you ready for fall? Oh, that's a big stretch. I think it means yes. Morning, Jason. How's the bacon going? Oh, it's going. First flame broiled bacon I've ever done, but... Oh, yeah. yeah. Crispy. Yeah. We really like it. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya. We're about to start packing up camp here. Jason's gonna go work on his Jeep, see if he can't get it running for the JJ Marie tomorrow. He wasn't able to bring it to the last one, so. But man, what a beautiful spot. Yeah, can't beat it. I 
I'm very blessed to say I have some thank yous that I'd like to end this video with, and those are to new Patreon pledges helping to support this journey. Scott Brubaker, Gavin Miller, and D-Dub. Really appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you for helping us out.